watching the Energy Nerd Show is like reading a good book. Spend some time with it, enjoy yourself, maybe learn a few things, and then you go on to the next thing. for doing another energy nerd show and tell. There's a really cool graph of the decline in electricity use because of COVID impacts that we've been looking at. And there's a blog up on the Synapse website. Can you talk a little bit about that graph? Yeah, of course. So I put together this graph based on data from ISO New England. And I was inspired by a couple of recent posts that EIA has put on their website. EIA always has some really interesting ways to show energy data. So maybe they should be on your show in the future. What this uh, graph is, is it's showing energy use in New England um, since pretty much the beginning of the year um, with a focus on weekdays. The red lines in the chart indicate what the energy use has been every day since January 6th, every weekday since January 6th in 2020. And the gray areas behind the red lines show uh, historically how energy use in New England has varied in days that are similar to the days in 2020 from a, from a weather basis. So, for example, if you were to look at, just to pick one, the day February 24th, uh, you could expect some kind of range in energy load for historical days from the past five, five or six years that were about the same temperature. And temperature is a major driver of electricity use. Uh, but the whole point to this chart isn't really what, what's been going on since January 6th. It's to show uh, what's been happening as a result of the coronavirus stay-at-home advisories and orders. What I've tried to do here is highlight uh, the dates in which we started knowing more about COVID-19 and dates in which governors in New England enacted uh, stay-at-home orders or advisories. And what this chart ends up highlighting is kind of no surprise to a lot of people, I would guess, is that electricity use is down. But it's a fairly stark reminder of just how much electricity use is down. We see here that between March 15th and April 30th, daily weekday demand for electricity is down by 12%, uh, which is pretty amazing. And in fact, it's almost always the, the lowest uh, electricity use we've ever seen you know, when, when taking into account what we would expect to see based on weather. So each of those blocks is a week. And for the most part, the trend lines seem to kind of mirror the prior weeks. But then in some cases, it's the opposite, like the midweek is down. Is there anything... And is there anything about that you could say? It's all weather dependent. If you started a week that was pretty warm and then the middle of the week it got a little bit cooler and then warm again, you might see a trend in say air conditioning load that follows that. Or if it's still a cold part of the year, you might see the opposite trend. Warmer times might indicate more electricity use as people are using heating systems that are powered by electricity a bit more. It's not so much the week, the within the week variation that's important as just seeing the, the change from any one of these points in red to how we might have otherwise expected the system to look in a, you know, a normal time. Well, it's really beautifully presented. Is anybody doing any forecasting based on the return to work policies changing now? I don't know about that specifically. I mean, I think it's a pretty interesting area because the return to work is all kind of happening differently in different states. Rhode Island and Connecticut sort of have their own progress, you know, to reopening that's different from Massachusetts and that's different than the states in, in northern New England. I think what's interesting is ICE in New England is doing its own forecasting of day ahead energy use, which it does every single day, coronavirus or not. And they're still having a bit of trouble figuring out exactly what forward going electricity use is compared to what their models might otherwise predict, which isn't unexpected. You know, these are unprecedented times. Well, we'll just look forward to more graphs from you and, and um, more insights because it's really interesting. Thanks a bunch. Great. See you later. See you. Thanks for watching. This is Energy Nerd Show and Tell. It's the show that we want to watch. So we're thinking maybe some of you energy nerds want to watch it too. Um, if you do, then uh, hey, uh, tell your friends and subscribe right around here. Click there. And check over there or, or over here. Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and where Yeah, else? and the Energy Nerd website at energynerdshow.com. 
you can always go there. And if you want to be a guest, you can uh, volunteer and be a guest. We, we love to have guests. In fact, that's kind of what the show is all about. Absolutely.